Okay, only two hours until polls close in Mississippi for the state primaries. And voters, well, they are hoping to choose which candidates will be on the general election ballot. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Ransom. The one thing about so many candidates vying for one office in Mississippi is it's more likely to lead to a runoff election. And that's because a candidate must get 50% plus one vote to win outright. That's right. And Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is in Hernando live for us this evening at a very busy precinct. How's it going out there, Brad? How you doing, Katina and Richard? I'm here at the Hernando East Precinct, where workers here tell me turnout could easily top 50% today. As voters told me, they enthusiastically cast their primary ballots today for a slew of races, from at the top to governor to more locally for sheriff. Now, we caught up with voters late this afternoon at the Hernando East Precinct, which includes about 5,000 registered voters, the largest in DeSoto County. DeSoto County is the third largest Mississippi county for the number of registered voters, but number one one statewide in terms of an average voters per precinct. By three and before this hour's post work rush, nearly a quarter of the voters on the rolls here already had cast a ballot. In DeSoto County, Democrat and Republican voters are picking not only the governor, but states' house races and county positions, including clerk and sheriff. It's incredibly important, I think, on the local level. Um, you know, I know a lot of people focus on, you know, who's in the White House or who's in the Senate and those kind of things. But the, the, the local people here at our county level can have so much of an impact on your daily life. I just feel like it's the American thing to do. And um, I, I just think now more than ever, it's, it's, it's important. Now, DeSoto County is also home to one of the three leading Republican gubernatorial candidates, Robert Foster. I'll be at his campaign headquarters tonight as supporters watch the results come in, and I'll bring you a live report at 10. And as Katina just mentioned, polls remain open in the Magnolia State until 7. So if you are here in Mississippi, there's still time to vote. Reporting live in Hernando, Brant Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. There are several other races on the ballot tonight. Now, among them, Republican voters also have contested primaries for lieutenant governor, attorney general, secretary of state, and treasurer. You can count on Local 24 to keep you covered when polls close. Just look for up-to-the-minute results on localmemphis.com, and we'll have a full roundup tonight on the News at 10.